Hi, I'm Steven Sexton, Director of Technical Sales at Agrison. At Agrison, we produce two products for production agriculture, Accomplish LM and Titan PBA, powered by biochemistry. Today, we're in a wheat stubble field full of crop residue. And why is a field full of crop residue at this time of the year? Well, it's a result of the program instituted by the USDA NRCS back in the early 1980s to protect our most precious commodity, our topsoil, from wind, water, and slope erosion. So we don't have a repeat performance of the Dust Bowl years of the 1930s. It has been a highly successful program, but with crop residue management comes another challenge. Crop residue contains a lot of nutrients, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, and it does not break down fast enough so the crop that's planted the following year can use those nutrients to produce grain. In my hands, I have two forms of residue, wheat stubble from this last summer and corn stalks from two years ago. Now, why do we have corn stalks still in this field that are two years old? Well, they aren't breaking down. And these corn stalks have a lot of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus in them. Universities today agree that the number one factor reducing crop decomposition is cooler soil temperatures versus available nitrogen. A major seed company analyzed the effects of additive nitrogen onto a grower standard program in a corn-on-corn -corn residue rotation. The treatments were grower standard, 200 units of N as fall applied anhydrous. Then there were four additive treatments of 40 extra units of N applied in late March. A sixth treatment was added, Accomplish LM, a biochemical fertilizer catalyst. Accomplish LM, which contains no nitrogen, was three times the soil nitrate concentration as a grower standard. So the challenge this year, we had a late spring. We got the corn planted late. We have a late fall harvest. We have a bumper crop. We're gonna have a lot of residue, and it's gonna be, we're still harvesting as we speak. There's gonna be very little time between now and winter when the microbes shut completely down for any residue to be broken down. The result is all the residue is gonna be on top of the ground in the spring with a lot of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus still in that crop residue unavailable to the spring crop. To learn more about residue management, please visit agrison.com. Agrison, based on nature, built on science.